Hello everyone. I'm going to be trying something a little unusual here apparently. I'm going to be putting a autofill on an above ground pool. To install a 30 foot pool that I'm working on the plumbing right now. Sort of a mess. But my plan is to take a skimmer fitting and adapt that and turn it into an autofill. So as far as our plumbing, I've already ran the drainage and ran a hose which will be our source and picked up an extra skimmer fitting. This is actually comes in a kit. It's the entire skimmer assembly including a wide mouth adapter which I won't be using. Uh, the gasket that goes around it and that's about it. Is mount this onto the side of the pool. Of course I'll have to cut a hole in the side of the pool and the liner so when I'm deciding where to place this unit I'm basically gonna put it exactly the same height as the other skimmer I picked up an adjustable toilet valve the nice thing about this particular one is the float level can be adjusted by twisting this on the shaft the problem in adapting this thing is first I couldn't find any type of adapter which would screw into the skimmer itself let's take a look and I'll show you this is an inch and a half fitting. Unfortunately, this, which is a toilet fill, is not inch and a half. It's not inch. It's not three quarter inch. It's not half inch. It's seven eighths inch, which is a very oddball fitting. So, short of going to a true plumbing supply store, which I was too lazy to do, I ended up with this, which is a flat bottom plug. So, what I'll be doing is threading this in ultimately into the skimmer itself after I have drilled a 7 8 inch hole in the bottom of this. So I've already checked my fill valve to make sure that the base of this will fit through this. What I've also done is picked up a braided stainless steel connector. This is 7 8 inch. This is a toilet supply line. This will fit onto the end of my fill valve and goes into a compression fitting for which I already have the adapters to do. Alright, I made a little template here, uh, just a simple piece of paper and a pencil. I'm just kind of uh, taped it on the top and skimmed over the top. Now, I'm not going to be using this to drill my holes, actually. I'll be using it to cut the actual skimmer uh, inlet. Um, I'll be using the gasket, actually, to space my holes later. But I ruined my top rail and my top rail anchor and pulled the liner back and pulled the top ring off. Uh, my tracing I've already taped to the side. I measured down about three inches, which appears to be about what the other skimmer is set at. Cut the hole out of my template and traced on the inside of that with my Sharpie. So that hole is drawn. You can see that I've kind of slid some cardboard in behind my cut hole. And I'll be using abrasive cutter. So abrasion means, of course, heat. And heat, putting cardboard behind a hot piece of metal probably wouldn't be the brightest idea, except what you can't see is this cardboard is wet by virtue of a pretty heavy rain, which is probably why it's 40 degrees out here, and the idea of getting a pool really isn't appetizing right now. But the wet cardboard is going to be hard to uh, get hot enough to start a fire. At least I'm going to be moving fairly quickly, so I'm not worried about that. One thing I do need to mention is that I'm putting a hole in my wall liner, so I'm sorry, in the pool wall, and that will almost certainly void any warranty that I have on the pool wall. In fact, if I don't do it appropriately, and even if I do do it appropriately, it's probably going to serve as a source of rust, and my wall ultimately may rust out if there's any, even a tiny, tiny leak in the hole that I put in. So I'm going to be a little paranoid about sealing it. A couple tools that I'll be using uh, to do this. I'll be cutting out the hole with this, a high-speed rotary cutter, um, softening up the edges with that, and then cleaning them up with this. All right, I got a hole in. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to have to check it with my skimmer here in just a second. Um, I'll go ahead and do that and make sure that my gasket fits in pretty decently. Then I'll uh, go ahead and clean it up with my stone. <laughs> what you probably couldn't see because I didn't show you is a little magnet here. I actually hung it on the inside of the pool wall to catch any metal shavings that might have fallen down. And it worked great. And if you're going to try this, I strongly suggest that to keep that. I'll place, clamp my face frame in place and I'll actually be using it to locate my drill holes. And I'm going to start with a center punch here. I'm going to back it up with a piece of wood like this. 
and center my drill hole in each of my marks. Got the skimmer mounted. I uh, already got the gasket in. I uh, put a bead of silicone inside the gasket where it uh, the gasket is like a double sided thing that uh, fits inside the hole. So I put a bead of uh, silicone inside of it. I also put a bead of silicone on the inside of the face plate. So. Here we are in the shop. This is our plug fitting. What I've done is there was a little nipple in here for the casting and I've gouged this out and started a tiny hole there for my drill to make sure that our hole is centered. I've got things set up in my cross slide. I'm going to center our drill bit on our little hole. Got a little spade bit. We can go right through it. Here we are finished. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, we got the toilet fill inside. Uh, snugged up with our torque nut with our stainless steel adapter going down to our valve and into the garden hose looking from the top I adjusted the fill uh, cranked it up all the way and there's our float valve Sets in there pretty nice